holy. This is the mark of the church that was of particular interest to John Wesley. His basic insight will be explained presently. The question that has been asked is, what makes the church holy? Classically, and I agree, it has been stressed that it is Christ who makes the church holy because it is first and foremost his holiness that matters. If we take the idea of substitution seriously and the fact that by taking on all of human nature and living a human life, God has taken our place in every aspect of our lives and not just our deaths, we can come to no other conclusion than that it is because Christ is holy that the church is holy. However, this is, is there not an implication for the actual believers who participate in the holiness of Christ? This was the conviction of John Wesley. Wesley was surrounded by people who argued that because Christ was our total substitute, there was nothing that, needed to be, that we needed to do in response. This is, of course, not how total substitution has been portrayed in this work. Wesley insisted that the holiness of Christ manifested itself in the lives of believers. Using terminology of the time, Christ imparts righteousness to everyone to whom he imputes righteousness. That is, every single person for whom Christ is the total substitute also has a life that is fundamentally changed. This cannot be doubted in light of the discussion of the person and work of Christ and the Spirit. If, through the power of the Holy Spirit, we are grafted into Christ so that it is no longer we who live, but Christ lives in us, and that the Spirit takes the things of Christ and makes them ours, how can we not begin to manifest the righteousness of Christ in our own lives? Now, we are by no means any more loved by God because of this righteousness. Indeed, while this righteousness is, in one sense, our own, as it is the working, working itself out in our lives, it is still Christ's righteousness. This is one of the crucial insights that Wesley had in the face of the antinomian without law teachers who surrounded him.